This is a no-nonsense guide for Manon. We're gonna get right into it. By the end of it, you will absolutely know how to play this character. Before we go on to neutral, I want to quickly go over the special moves and unique moves that make Manon function as a character. Quarter circle forward, heavy kick, well, kick in general, is going to give you this little spin. And we do use the heavy kick version for our Oki. And it does give insane Oki. Crazy good strike throw. The X version is used to anti-air as well as combo into our level 2 or level 1 super. Level 2, you might have to be a little closer than level 1. And uh, next special moves, we got quarter circle back, light kick. That's a multi-hitting, progressing, forward moving low. Punish bomb block, big punish bomb block. Same thing with the medium kick version. Mostly combo fodder for this. And the light kick version is to catch your opponent walking back or standing and whatnot. Heavy kick version is going to be an overhead. It is minus six on block, meaning it is punishable if you miss space right in front of them. But if you're spaced out correctly, this will be completely safe and is a really good overhead. You can just throw out neutral at any time. We also have our grabs. We have a hit grab in quarter circle forward punch. And you can also hold them to go through fireballs. I don't find this consistent. Maybe you will. Half circle back into a punch is going to give you a command grab. Different speeds and different ranges, depending on which one you use. If you're up close, always go for the heavy punch one. Five frames, really, really strong. And... Let's go on to the unique moves next. Oh, by the way, both the, the hit grab and the grab are gonna increase the stacks, and that is gonna increase the damage that you do on your throws, changing the risk award game and making Manon a beast. All right, unique moves with heavy punch. This is the easiest hit confirm in the game. Vortex is your opponent in for strike throw. You have a ton of time to bring your opponent in. Let me try to get the, the end of it. Oh man, that's so easy. Okay, you also have standing medium punch and a medium kick. Not really confirmable, but if you do get a certain hit with plus frames, then you can just easily confirm it to that, sweep them in. Note that usually on these hits, you can also use this. So just something to think about. <laughs> we also have crouching heavy punch, and this is an anti-air. If they jump up on you, you can easily just uh, crouching heavy punch, heavy punch. It'll drag them to the ground, set up strike throw. Super, super strong anti-air. The angle's good. It's fast. It's easy to use. We also have back medium kick, medium kick. And this is actually confirmable into any super. This is a level two I'm using right here. This is not common in the game, but level one, level two, and level three, all of them combo. So uh, yeah, if you don't want to use the EX to combo, you can just use that if you have the frames to do it. And we also have back heavy punch that combos into our hit throw. Really strong for our combo game, important for the combo game. And finally, we have the useless one. This is down forward into heavy kick. I would never use this over sweep. Yeah, don't touch it. Before we go on to talking about ground and neutral, quick little recap of some neutral we already talked about. You can crouching heavy punch to take people out of the sky. You can also go for the EX legs if you want to get reward off an anti air. Going to be a little more difficult to go for. You can also meet an opponent in the air with a jumping medium punch. Very good. Gives you a knockdown. If you want to jump in on somebody, heavy kick will let you do that from really up high. Keep you plus. You can go a little lower with medium kick. It also has the privilege of being a cross up and you can hit an opponent really deep, be really plus with heavy punch. So now let's talk about Manon's ground and neutral game. I think for the most part, she should be playing for whiff punishes. She can do so with standing medium punch at closer to mid range encounters and you can buffer into DR. You can also go for standing heavy punch. No buffer required because of course you have the easy hit confirm and you have sweep to get that knockdown to get your Oki going. Let's show what that looks like. Up close. Boom. Mid range. And uh, yeah, that's how I generally recommend playing her. Now, if you're trying to get aggressive on your opponent, well, we got some good options for that too. You can walk forward into your standing medium punch range. And of course, once again, buffer into DR. If you misspace it, it is actually really difficult to whip punish. I mean, it's total duration, what, 24 frames? So, <laughs> yeah, even if you whiff it, you're generally going to be completely fine. But once again, you buffer that forward forward, you get that DR set up the strike throw or confirm on hit. You can also get into your range of standing heavy punch. Once again, safe on block as well as easy hit confirm on hit. You can also get aggressive with universal mechanics such as DI, take some space as well as jump ins. Something, two options you, you should really always be threatening because they increase mental stack a lot and makes it very difficult to play neutral against you. And finally, if you want to DR in, as an option, you should do so with Crouching Medium Punch because Manon can actually combo into Heavy Punch, Heavy Punch at max range. So yeah, you'll always get reward if you get that hit. And otherwise, you'll just be plus three at like mid range and you can kind of go back to neutral or you can get aggressive if you'd like. Next, we've got Space Control. Manon can do so with Standing Medium Punch, buffer into Forward, Forward, as well as Crouching Medium Punch. 
And if you didn't pick it up already, standing medium punch is really, really strong. And you can pretty much play neutral with Manon just starting out with just these two buttons. Just that's it. But yeah, let me show you an example of what space control looks like. Uh, actually, so if I tap medium punch forward forward, I don't get anything. But if they move into it, whether they dash in or DR in, I will get that hit and I'll easily be able to confirm. And the cool thing about crouching medium punch is that if I do it, I can combo into standing heavy punch. Now, when it comes to space control, you also want to be able to threaten lows because a lot of the time people will be walking forward in dealing, and uh, you don't want to just let them full on walk in. So you want to control lows at close range, standing light kick, really low committal option. And you still are going to get a DR combo if that's who you wish. You can also throw it out without a buffer if you'd like as well. You also have a standing medium kick. It is more range. It's slower, has quite a bit of recovery. So I would be a little uh, safer with this one. I, I would often use this one over this one. Six more frames of total duration. But this one is also cancelable off of below. So you can definitely catch them lacking. Get that combo. And finally, we have crouching medium kick. And this is not cancelable, but it is very fast. Holds that space super well and keeps them out. And finally, we have our neutral skips, our just do it options. Note that these are generally going to lose pretty hard to DI in neutral or jumps. So if they do that a lot, I wouldn't threaten these as op often. But we have walk up sweep, of course. We have punish one block, by the way. We also have two and four LK. Another low option that is uh, a definitely surprise attack, but does get you that Oki. And it will get people thinking about blocking low. And finally, we have our quarter circle back heavy kick. Just an overhead to threaten. Not going to be huge reward or anything, but you are going to build up that damage over time and you're really going to make them consider the spacing that they're playing against you at. We made it to the point of the video that everyone probably skipped to. The offense and the Oki. I don't know how many other Monans are using this specific structure, but I find it to be incredibly strong. And you know what? I bet they're about to steal this tech after this video comes out. So we're going to base all the offense off of this normal after DR. This is plus three, meaning that after throw, there's a two frame gap. And after a strike option, if we go for standing light kick, it is going to also be a two frame gap. This is true strike throw. There's no reacting to this. You got to hold this. I also got some other tech I'm going to show you. But for the, the strike option, you're going to have to DR because you aren't actually close enough to get two punches in. So obviously it's not realistic to confirm from one light, which is why we use DR. But my specific tech is I like to micro walk forward with standing light punch and crouching light punch. And that allows you to hit confirm it. So the only thing you have to be able to do like technical wise as Manon is be able to do a half circle back, easy peasy, as well as be able to confirm from two light punches, which is not difficult. You can do this, I promise you. This is not a difficult thing to do. So strike option and throw option. Let's see what the opponent can do. So crouching light punch. It's only a two frame gap, so they can't mash. What about the strike option? Same thing, but they get counter hit. Note that that's a very strong knockdown, by the way. We get crazy Oki from that. So that also continues the game plan very, very well. So the opponent can't mash. And they have to deal with a throw that they absolutely don't want to hold or they're going to be extinguished. So the opponent's going to jump every single time. They're, as soon as they realize mashing doesn't work, they're going to be jumping. So how do we deal with jumping? Well, if we go for the strike option, there's no issue. We're still going to get that knockdown. Same thing if we do it this way, by the way. So what is it really beating? Well, it's going to beat the throw and they're going to get very good reward if they do a neutral jump into a landing normal. So... Dealing with jump can be a little difficult, but once you've conditioned them to not mash, you actually have an interesting option to stop jump. And that's going to be going into heavy punch. <laughs> so heavy, this does have a gap in it. If they mash, they are going to beat you, but they're not going to mash because the strike and the throw layer one options are going to destroy them. So deny jump with this, pull them back in, set up another strike throw and continue the game plan further. So that offense is incredible, but you're not always going to be able to hit that deep crouching medium punch. So at range, we got to threaten some different options, right? And you will be able to figure out the range in the moment as long as you put some time into Manon, right? So we're going to be going for light command grab. If you're really far out, medium, obviously, if you're a little closer. But even this is still going to only have a seven frame gap. Yes, this will be mashable, but they're going to have to be mashing for their life to get it out that fast. And you know what? I guess at sometimes, you know, my throw should be losing to strike. So you know what? Respectable. But we can still frame trap as long as we're in range for that standing light kick. 
and you will need DR to confirm. Note that no longer can you do the micro walk thing. You're just not going to be in range for it. And if you're out of range of standing light kick, you can still play for shimmies. Whether with dust or sweep <laughs> or with standing heavy punch. Standing heavy punch obviously is going to be a little bit easier. So yeah, they're still going to be like kind of scared for their life. So they're still going to be threatening jump. And fortunately, this option is still going to work. Sometimes it won't be in a range to get the follow up hit, but a lot of the time it will be. And even if you get the one hit farther away, you can still just dash forward and take that space. So what if I don't want to commit that DR afterwards for the strike, but I want to keep offense? Well, the way to do that is with standing medium punch. And this move leaves you forward is only minus one on block, which means if they block it, that's the end of your turn. You should just down back. Obviously not going to be punishable at minus one. But if you get the hit, you're going to be close enough to continuously threaten strike throw. And maybe that builds you enough bar where you want to go for the, the DR cancel afterwards. But let me show you what that looks like. Strike option. Throw option. Once again, this is all assuming that they get hit by this and make themselves minus two and by extension, U plus two. And now we get to talk about Oki or the pressure we get after our common knockdowns. First thing you wanna do is go to your start menu in training mode and you practice these, go to dummy settings and make sure recovery is set to recover backward. It is super vital that you're practicing against recover backward. So for the first knockdown, we're gonna be talking about our basic hit confirm from our lights. And we're always gonna hit confirm into two, three, six, H. Now this does do less damage than M, but the reason we do H is because it has a little more frame advantage, which allows this. You one dash, then you DR and you immediately cancel into the crouching medium punch. That of course gives you the God offense where you can threaten that as a frame trap. And for the throw option, one dash, immediately cancel into the M command grab and uh, yeah, ridiculous strike throw offense. If you want to go for a meterless option on the same knockdown, maybe you're worried about reversal, you can just do one dash, walk forward, and you'll be plus 16 in their face for strike throw. Our next most common knockdown is going to be the hit grab. We have a throw option here, slide delay and do an L command grab. And we have a slide delay into crouching medium punch for a mid-ranged uh, medium punch, crouching medium punch. Uh, we talked about the offense earlier, so we won't go too detailed into that. So go back, you skip through. <laughs> if you want to get close for the God offense, you can do that if uh, if they're willing to let you and if you really condition them to not mash on wake up, which is generally what I try to go for. But yeah, you can sneak this in to get the God offense. But you'll find that a lot of people will just walk back on wake up. And the reason they do this is because if we go for the strike option, it's the same as before. And if we go for the throw option, we'll lose. So how do we call that out? Well, number one, if you know they're going to do it, I would recommend going for this option. <laughs> Just chase them with a command grab. That is common to do. You can also do a micro walk forward into a sweep. That's a, we'll go over the Oki that for that just a second, but yeah, also strong Oki. And if you find that too hard to do, you can just go for this. Oh, I mistimed it, but yeah, you go for the multi kicks. If you're looking for meterless option from this, you're worried about reversal, you can just walk forward and meaty with heavy punch. Obviously, confirm on hit. You can also, if you really, really stretch it, you know, <laughs> you can walk forward and go for the light command grab if they're very respectful. And then, of course, you can still threaten sweep and the other low option that we talked about earlier. Next up is sweep, and sweep might be the most oppressive knockdown of all of them. Let me show you why. So if you go for sweep and you DR immediately, you see that you're plus three. Why does this matter? Well, if they go for a reversal, you'll be able to bait it just by walking back. Not often can you do that. It's very strong. It also means that, you know, as soon as you see your character walk back, you're plus three, which gives you a nice way to time your command grab. So yeah, they have two frames to jump that. No mesh. <laughs> really strong. And then of course, we can also just time our crouching medium punch to set up the God offense. So what about sweep without meter? Well, first things first, you just go sweep, you go for a dash and you're plus eight. From here, you can reversal bait or you can go for your strike throw. Our throw option is gonna be the P version. That should be a two frame gap. And our strike option is either standing medium punch or crouching medium punch. Let's start with standing medium punch. Keep in mind these timings are strict and frame perfect. So after sweep, you go for a dash, you go for standing medium punch. And if you do it right, which I didn't there, 
you should be able to combo into two crouching medium punches, meaning that your strike option is also going to combo from the hit and it's going to be very easy to confirm. And of course, it'll get you that really strong Loki we talked about earlier. Additionally, it is going to be plus one on block if you time it correctly, meaning that you can have a four frame gap between your H command grab. Keep in mind, so throw option is going to be that, strike option is going to be those jabs, and the strike option also auto time confirms if the original meaty hits. Now we'll talk about crouching medium punch after the dash, and what's interesting about this one is that you're going to get pretty good reward if the initial meaty hits. I also find it's easier to time. I say that as I mess it up. And I mess it up again. There we go. We combo into our hit grab and get a, a meterless token, which is uh, obviously very strong. And just like standing medium punch, it is going to be plus one on block. Next one should be quick. After the multi-hitting lows, you can DR in, go for your strike throw. And of course, if you go for the crouch medium punch, you get the god offense on block, or obviously combo on hit. Meterlessly, what you can do is just walk forward, time a light command grab, or walk forward and time a crouching medium punch. You can be up to plus one on block here or plus eight on hit if you time it meaty enough. And finally, let's talk about the knockdown Oki from Command Grab. You can immediately cancel into a heavy punch and this will auto time meaty. Obviously really easy to confirm. Note that if they do DI, you cannot DI immediately because if you press the DI macro after heavy punch, you're just gonna get the follow up and you'll get rolled. That's why I kind of like going for this option. You can still combo to this, they get hit, but it is a little more difficult to time. And if you miss time it, they'll be able to jump out, obviously. That's not too bueno. You can go for a throw option, but at this point you're running so deep that I would only threaten this once every 10 sets maybe. Or if I know I've got them locked down and I'm in their head. Yeah, not super strong and it will just lose to walk back. The interesting thing though, to beat walk back, is that we can go DR into immediate sweep. And this is minus eight at a fairly decent range. Actually not completely punishable. And if they try to sweep your sweep, well, that's rough for them. We already talked about the insane Oki, by the way, from sweep. So you should know this is a pretty high reward option if they fall for it. For any other knockdown, I'm generally going for a dash first and then checking if I still have frame advantage. If I do, then I'll DR in and go in for the God offense, such as this knockdown. There you go, God offense. <laughs> Let's talk about defensive options. If someone's jumping in on you and pressure, you can still anti-air them with that. You can anti-air them with this. If you need a mash, you have a four framer right here. It's super strong. Your low hits from quite far. Lows matter because, you know, armor like Marissa, you might need that low. So keep that in mind. And finally, all of her supers are reversals. Level three, level two, and level one all are invincible on wake up. So make sure you're threatening those. And finally, let's talk about combos. So most of your combos are just gonna be from DR. Here's the PNB that you saw a million times. You can also, if you wanna end with meter, into a level one or level two. We also showed this off earlier. And a level one or level two, or level three for that matter. If you wanna save the two bars, maybe you'd go into burnout or something. You can also, if you hit confirm this, go into this. And this does leave you a safe jump little mid to corner route with some damage. Note that anytime you're not ending a combo with this, you are foregoing a combo token. If you get a hit with the eye, it's quite simple. If you're below level three tokens, you go for that. If you are at four or five, you go for that. If you're near the corner, you can go for this. Into level one or level two here, or well, level two. And then you can also go into level three with this. And finally, here's a little DP bait combo. And that's it. That's the Manon Guide. If you appreciate me, maybe check out the Patreon. Maybe sub to the channel. Maybe check out my links in the description. Twitter, Twitch. We do it all. And uh, if you want to see me do another character, let me know in the comments. Bye-bye.